That's a key right there. I mean, we know Sami Zayn very outspoken, very opinionated. And when you question Sami Zayn's work ethic, you question his drive, that is a personal point of contention that he wants revenge. I, mean, I don't like his chances, but we know what Sami Zayn's capable of when he's motivated like he is right now. That said, Samoa Joe is always motivated to beat you up. Yeah, Samoa Joe wants to punish Sami Zayn. Look at what he's accomplished uh, since he since arriving at WWE, Joe taking Seth Rollins out of action with a knee injury to the point where it's highly unlikely Seth Rollins will make WrestleMania this year. Samoa Joe defeated Roman Reigns in his first match here in WWE. Took out Cesaro last week. And many people believe doing the bidding of Triple H. Oh, oh. oh. hit by Samoa Joe. He just went down. Joe, that quick strike ability. One of the things, though, Corey, you mentioned the name Triple H around Samoa Joe. He gets very upset. Look at Joe taking Sami Zayn out into the knee bar. And Zayn tries desperately to make it to the rope, but he does. It's absolutely terrifying how fluid Samoa Joe moves inside the ring. Watch this. For big guy, oh, yeah. To your point, Michael, Samoa Joe is simply capitalizing, maximizing the opportunity provided to him by Triple H. This is all just business. Joe trained in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Sami Zayn with the leapfrog up over the top. Oh, Deep no. arm drag blocked by Joe. Nice block. Joe, though, misses wildly to the clothesline. And now the head scissors from Sami Zayn stuns Joe a bit. I thought Sami Zayn was rocked there for a minute, but again, to the resiliency we always talk about that Sami Zayn displays. Yeah, part of guts is Sami Zayn taking it right to Joe, the 282-pounder. And the official finally separating the two men, but Zayn right back on the attack. Really stuck in Sami Zayn's craw the night that Samoa Joe said he wasn't a Sami Zayn. That he wasn't just satisfied just being here. What a straight right. I love that. Sami Zayn drop another human being with a jab. Dynamite Joe do it though. Dynamite in the fist of Samoa Joe. Sami Zayn struggling just to make it back to his feet. Look at him Watch just this punch away like that. Boom! Shot him right to the jaw. And look at Zayn still trying to fight back, but not much luster behind those punches. Jeez. A hurricanrana. And again, to your point, Corey, so quick for a 280-pounder. It said that Sami Zayn's taking a loss, but still. He's fighting Samoa Joe. Not like the first time he's done that. Now he I don't think anyway. People just to get to this point. And now Triple H gave him an opportunity that no one else did. And he's going to make the most of it. And he certainly has done that so far. It was chilling to sit in the same room with him a couple of weeks ago, conduct an interview in which Joe was so confident in his ability, believe in every word that he said. What you've seen from Samoa Joe, Cole, do you have any reason to doubt him? Don't I've seen Samoa Joe in the NXT, but it still impresses me every time. That's why I'm like freaking out. Oh my goodness, Sammy Zayn's neck breaks back. The official right there asking Sammy if he's going to give up. Samoa Joe punishing Zayn. Zayn, though, cover and a kick out by Joe at one. A modified bow and arrow hold by Samoa Joe and a vicious knife edge chop. Echoing throughout the Bradley Center in Milwaukee. It's almost as if Samoa Joe is disgusted that Sami Zayn is still in this match. Oh. Disrespect, the word that Joe continues to use when it comes to Sami Zayn. Yeah. And again, just trying to string together a little bit of offense here. Defiant Sami Zayn throwing everything he does. Oh, oh, what was that near face? I can't even break him down. The knees, covered oh, it's both. <laughs> Barely though with two. That's Moe Joe right now, just one step quicker. I can assure you, for all the punishment that Joe has already dished out, he's still got plenty more. Hey, watch this ridiculous Ooh. speed agility of Samoa Joe, sweeping the legs of Sami Zayn, stopping Sami's 
attempt to build momentum. Corey, you've been in the ring with Joe. I have. Followed his career. Did you expect him to make the impact that he's done here over the past month? I expected it to happen a lot faster. I expected Samoa Joe to be here a decade ago. What, what, he's here now, and he's making the world realize that he is every bit as good and dangerous as he said. And Corey, knowing Joe, being in the ring with him, what does Danny have to do to try to get back? Damn. You gotta stay away from him. Oh, wow. Wow. Corey, punch him in the mouth. Seem like I am proud. Get a better chance than the Blue Thunder Bomb. Yeah, he looked, looked not right quite at, enough. Look right at the referee and said two, almost in disbelief that Joe was able to kick out. I'm gonna shake that disbelief and stay on the ball here. And he's doing the right thing, stick and move. Hit and stay I don't the know if going to the top rope is the right thing. Even on the top rope, you're not sick. Uh, Sammy though having trouble getting up top. No Samoa Joe now in pursuit. Being up there favors Sami Zayn. Will determine for Sami Zayn. Has to leap up over Samoa Joe. This time Joe catches it with an inverted atomic drop. And now a kick right to the face. Joe with a senton. Here's the cover. Is it enough to put Zayn away? Look at the look in the eyes of Samoa Joe as Sami stays in it. Now you see a little bit of frustration from Samoa Joe. Joe knows about Sammy. He's been in the ring with him. He understands the heart and guts of this kid. Samoa Joe is also always willing to go that extra mile to break the heart. Of his it's not even frustration, I don't think. It's like he feels more disrespected or something. Good character stuff. Maybe nearing that point. Again, the quickness of Samoa Joe with the power slam almost putting Zayn away. The expression in Joe. Complete focus. Intimidating eyes. Oh, now those nasty jabs. Sammy trying to cover up. Sammy Zayn has got nothing left in the tank. Maybe Sammy's had enough. Maybe the referee should call this. Uh oh, oh Sammy Zane though! One last gasp effort and almost had it! Can he make his way across him a little bit? Oh. And a kick now to the face of Samoa Joe. And if that's what it was, firing is great strategy because here comes Zane. Again with the top rope. Not a good idea. For the second time in this match, Joe back to his feet again with a right hand. Didn't work for you the first time, not gonna work this time. Could be thinking muscle buster. Yeah, Zane knows that. Trying to fight out. Oh, and again an Insiguri. This time to the top rope. Good grief. Now the muscle buster. Quickness. Power. Oh, no, suplex. Still going for a superplex. This could be devastating for Sammy Zane. Zane trying to block. Trying to fight out of it with everything you've got, Sammy. Perma? Perma. High risk maneuver for Sammy Zayn. Sunset Slope tried for it. Joe hung on. Sammy hesitated just a moment too long. That time he catches Joe chin first on the turnbuckle. Back for the Haluma. No, just caught him and slams into the mat. Uh oh. Uh oh. There it is. Kokita. The Kokita clutch by Samoa Joe. Submission move. Locked in center of the ring. Legs wrapped around Sammy. He's got it in good court. All Sammy Zayn can do is reach, hope, and pray that he's close enough to the rope. But Sammy Zayn is taking a nap. Here is your winner, mm. Samoa Joe. Still hasn't done the muscle buster. It'll take nothing away from the effort we saw from Sammy Zayn, but Samoa Joe was just too. Can't much. wait till he actually does it. Samoa Joe said to Sammy, I told 
yourself. Get used to the sight. We're going to be seeing a lot of it. Samoa Joe is victorious. A very dangerous man. As you can tell by that right hand earlier on in the matchup. There's one guy to make Samoa look good. It sure is him he's in. Oops, I hit the wrong button. Hang on. Hang on. Ah, come on. There we go. Stop everything in your body from working properly. 